All right, the recording is on. Uh, good morning once again. Bonjour à tous. I think we, we can start. Thank you so much for joining the stand up today. It's Monday and it's week three at UTJ, uh, week three day one. And of course, before we go further, let's just do uh, check the schedule. Today is Monday, uh, 12th August. We have stand up, uh, morning stand up, which is this one. And then after this, we're gonna have morning stand up introduction to Ten Academy and UTJ only for week three new trainees. So that means there's new trainees, the new people who joined the program. They'll be having their uh, onboarding or introduction to Ten Academy and everything. Just yes, now, I think the call is ongoing. Then for us, we will just go ahead with day one tutorial challenge introduction uh, with Gerard. He's here with us and then community building session, then tutorial one, day one, introduction to LLMs, and then uh, independent challenge work. I think that's it for today. Other than that, uh, I will hand over to Kerod for assistance with maybe questions, if there is any any challenge so far, but I would love if everyone would share, like how are we looking up for this week? What's the goal do we have for this week? Uh, if there's any challenge, Radiate and Kerod will be here then uh, for me, I think I will meet you again in, in challenge introduction. Yeah. So I think that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and share how's the progress so far, like how you're looking up for this week, uh, looking forward for this week. And if there's any challenge or maybe any question you'd love to ask, then this will be the time. Uh, I think that's it. Maybe Erod and Radiate, you can take off. If there's a question, just raise a hand, then we follow the queue. Uh, yeah. So I think. Okay, Abraham, you can go. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, first of all, for your uh, amazing time and to share us your experience and your knowledge. My first question is. Uh, is there any specific uh, field you will uh, rely on or uh, it is a general uh, uh, knowledge sharing uh, platform? I, I would expect, uh, is there any specific uh, uh, professions are to be introduced here? Okay. Uh, but first, uh, le le let me ask uh, Abraham, is, is this your first week? Are you new to the program? Yeah. Okay, so uh, for first week, uh, for people who are just training us, we actually have another uh, session. Maybe if you can join that one, I think that would be better because uh, new uh, newcomers are being introduced to the challenge there. So let me just copy and paste the meeting link here. Uh, I think uh, for those people who are here for the first time, you can join that call. It's ongoing already. So yeah, I just rather join that one. Yeah, yeah, I just cop copied and pasted the, the link, so you can uh, go to that that link for new campus. Yes, yeah. but yeah, so something else. Get... Maybe if you if you yes, please, Abraham. Should I go there now? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's it's ongoing. If you're new, and everyone else, yeah. You can also check Slack. Uh, it's there shared by Makita. The last uh, shared by Makita. All right. Thank you, then. Kiro, uh, over to you and Radiate. Yeah, uh, sorry. So uh, who can share? Uh, maybe uh, Elvis or Karate, can, can you guys open your mic and speak uh, about last week's cha challenge, any challenge that you have faced? Uh, what are you looking forward to this week? Yeah, uh, thank you. Good morning, everyone. 
uh, when yeah when i go to the uh, weekend time actually uh, before talking about the weekend uh, last week uh, since i was the, the for me it was the first week and there was uh, the challenge the, the career challenge at the same time there are tutorials and also uh, there are uh, submissions for uh, entry and uh, final so uh, that regard actually i was you know facing in two uh, terms like one just understanding the the challenges and the other thing is how to submit those uh, reports and the uh, the tasks to using the tenex platform so there was such kind of uh, both challenges but i think this week it will not be uh, repeat again because i have already uh, gained a skill and knowledge on how to use the tenex uh, by the way thank you uh, Carol, for your uh, intensive support in this regard so uh, using this uh, knowledge and skill uh, i have uh, submitted my interim and final report and when it comes to the weekend time yeah uh, especially uh, saturday and sunday i was here with my my families but in the meantime i was uh, taking a tutorial uh, in hawasa university by the way i'm living in hawasa ethiopia hawasa is the second beautiful city in ethiopia so i was uh, spending my time in university the main campus taking the tutorial so it was a good time for me maybe this week also <clears throat> i would like to uh, gain the same uh, new knowledge and skill in terms of uh, these tutorials like uh, financial indicators and also other already listed uh, programs hope i will enjoy with them with them and also with you so this is all from my side thank you very much okay uh, thank you so much for sharing uh, Tarifa. and you're welcome uh, and thank you for uh, speaking up uh, so can we go to elvis yes okay good morning everyone good morning okay um i the challenge of uh, last week i learned a lot i i would like to to add that um, I think I like the way this program is structured because um, it, push, it pushes someone to, to kind of think and, um, and take actions and decisions of your own because I think um, there, there are guides on how one should go about their work but it's not uh, like complete. So I think there are some gaps that are left for people to think and like do something unique somehow um, with respect to the work. Now, in terms of um, personal growth, I'm trying to figure out uh, how to get the work done. Led me to learn enough, a lot, especially how to read prompts and talk with them because i use chat uh, chat GPT a lot for exercise how to talk with uh, chat gpt to give you the kind of um, result you're expecting which uh, i think that's um, yeah, that's amazing um i would like to ask a question at this point now in terms of uh, submission now if one submits and uh, later on finds out that there is a little error in the work and okay, let's say like yesterday uh, being sunday for my work i had to go back and look at it and saw that there is a little mistake that was made and if you have to correct and resubmit what would have been the implication I hope you got my question. Yes, uh, I think I understand the question. So the question is, uh, what if I have already submitted and I noticed something wrong with my submission? How can I correct my error, right? Yes, in, term, in terms of the timing, you know, the 
uh, uh, final submission deadline was sometime Friday, about nine o'clock our time. And we are discovering on Sunday, being yesterday, and you want to correct and resubmit. What will be the implication in terms of um, appraising your work? That's the question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I would definitely advise you to, if you have noticed something wrong with your submission, you can always uh, edit uh, the link. You go to the link or where uh, on Tenix on the specific assignment, there is uh, like an edit button and you can click on that one and share the edited or the mistake free uh, file there and it will be graded as we have mentioned earlier you guys have a 48 hour uh, grace period when you can uh, so uh, the submission portal is opened uh, on friday for the final submission and it will be it will stay opened uh, actually uh, for this part we are not uh, closing the submission portal but uh, you have a 48 uh, grace period which means you can sub submit until uh, monday evening so you still can uh, go there and edit it and they will be graded and uh, you will get a feedback okay thank you Uh, maybe, uh, hello guys, uh, one thing that I forgot regarding the challenge, while I was, you know, uh, making the screening the CVs, uh, chat uh, GPD was not uh, working for me. I don't know if it is, if, if it has been working for you, but in this regard, I was, you know, facing a big challenge. So maybe Tarifa, uh, is that that like have you tried to attach the that to attach the files or the CV and then screen it? Is that uh, like were you trying that method? Sorry, Radit, can you say it again? Tarifa, can you? Okay, yeah, where okay, where you are trying to attach the files and where you trying to screen the CVs? Are you attaching? Where you attaching a file to ChatGPT? yeah actually i was so following <clears throat> yeah I, I was following the procedure but it was not uh, the page was not opening so i was using the not the manual way and also with the support of uh, gemini but gemini was not like uh, it's advanced like uh, G, uh, chat gpt so i was you know using some of the cvs by uh, manual and the others using uh, gemini's and by a combination of these ways, I was trying to uh, screen out, and finally, yeah, I did it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. So yeah, what uh, I was trying to say is, maybe if you're attaching the file in ChatGPT, and if you're trying to screen CVs or any type of files, uh, you're you're using GPT four, not three point five. So it's not free. So there is this. Um, restriction it will uh stop it's free trap for some i think i'm not sure but for some time and it will be back again okay so uh, if you're attaching file yeah then it's not going to be free for all the times it is going to be free for some amount of chats that might be the reason but that is if you're attaching files uh, yeah so maybe to add on what Reddit just said I think uh, the problem that he was referring to was sometimes ChatGPT, the site or itself is down. So I think it was down for a couple of hours on Friday, or I mean Saturday. I think that's what uh, he was referring to. But yeah, if you are, I think we have seen this over on our uh, session that you can only upload three files on ChatGPT with the free accounts. So we have seen that by uh, uploading three files and 
copy and pasting the rest but even by doing so there is a token li limit so if you pass the token limit you will be restricted from you using chat gpt for 24 hours but the error on friday was uh, from chat itself the site itself so yeah so we, we cannot do anything about that that one but use other uh, uh llms Now, Tarifa, was that, uh, did I answer you? Yeah, 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 you are right, you are right. Because it, especially on Friday and uh, Saturday, it was not opening, but when I when I cross-checked last night, yeah, it was working. So I think they have already fixed it. It's from, from, from their side. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it happens, yeah. But thank you for mentioning that, that one. Uh, okay, I think Indek Alu cannot speak. Uh, maybe can I go to Collins? Collins, can you speak? Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, okay. Good day, everyone. Good morning. Yeah. Can you? Okay. Good morning. So, so um, first, I will always start by saying thank you to the team for the good work they are doing and. Uh, you know the last uh, uh, the the final submission for week two was really it was really inspiring. It was stressful for me, but it was also worth it because uh, for me, I would say I learned uh, a whole lot. You know, for the first time, I'm able to cross use uh, several uh, you know the uh, L uh, LLMs. I was able to use a couple of them and. Uh, by doing that, I'm able to see the strengths and the weaknesses in those. Um, so I actually experienced the same thing. Uh, uh, is it Terefa? You know, he was talking about uh, they were coming and going, but uh, the advantages there are so many of them. So, like uh, I tried a zip perplexity, they call it, and I found out uh, it was very poor. The best for me that uh, I was able to use you know more of the, the cloud as the cloud uh, uh, the cloud ai is the first time i'm using it and i find it very very powerful and uh, very very uh, okay for me very much better than uh, chat gpt you know for the ones i have tried so overall it was really uh, it was a nice one and it was voluminous. <laughs> I don't know if that happened for me alone. I just hope I arranged it in the right format that is needed because I did on um, uh, on MS Word and then I now, uh, before I now um, uh, converted to to PDF. You know, so I had uh, close to maybe up to 30 or 30 something pages. So at the point I was feeling, I hope I'm doing the right thing because it was looking so long. You know, so but that's it. It was really interesting, and I'm happy that I'm able to see different AI tools, especially the ones I've not used before. I was only familiar with uh, Chat GPT, and yes, I had the experience of when you want to do multiple attachments, it's it's difficult to do those uh, multiple attachments. So again, I was able to copy and paste directly. Even at some point, I had to use the meta the meta AI, the one uh, that runs uh, on, on WhatsApp. So I, think I just tried uh, several of them. It was uh, it was cool. But please, I have a, a question I want to ask. I checked the, is it the, the sheet for week one. I was able to see that uh, the, the, the initial, that's the Wednesday submission and the final submission for week one has been scored, but I didn't get the one for uh, for the non-technical, so I don't know if there's any issue with that. I hope I sent the share link for that one, but that was the week we started. So if I didn't, maybe you can let me know. So that was it, because I didn't see, so obviously it was probably not marked yet. And that was just what I want to confirm. Again, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity.
Herod, are you speaking? We are not listening to you. Yeah, okay. I am. Okay, I'm. Uh, what about now? Am I audible? Okay, I was just saying. Uh, if uh, thank you for uh, share, sharing corners and uh, we get back soon. Uh, and the Kalu, you can go. Okay. Hey, how are you? Uh, hi. Yeah, yeah, this week's uh, challenge was much uh, easier than the first week. Uh, it, since it was the work of the AI, I guess, ChatGPT and other AIs. But uh, one problem I found uh, on myself was since I was uh, a bit busy with other things, I really did not look into the AI work closely. So I submitted a a kind of a a, a work that, that was not neatly done. It wasn't perfect like uh, the first week, which was a bit of a problem. So, uh, but this week was much easier, but I made a lot of mistakes uh, than the previous one. I kind of, I submitted sort of a, just a, a, a kind of, the answers just the ai answers and i didn't look into them closely so they had a bit of errors but otherwise it was quite a really good uh, uh adventurous uh, challenge they're good so, so i mean when i joined 10 academy for for the AI uh, project management i didn't expect it to be this way uh, so it's it's really good i loved it it's challenging so uh, a great week i hope those the coming weeks will also be more challenging and, and, and adventurous. Thank you. Okay, now, uh, thank you so much for sharing it, Dakalu. So yeah, it's okay if you, uh, so you will get the feedback on your submissions and you can check the feedbacks and uh, reflect on those. And, on those. And yeah, so we still got uh, 10 more weeks to, to, to go, which is uh, 10 more challenge to go. So we still have room for improvement. And thank you for your honesty and thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, let's go to, I think we still have uh, room for one more. So I'm gonna go to the ladies and ask Nana to speak if you can speak. Or uh, Carol. Um, okay, I think they cannot speak. Um, so, uh, if anyone wants to share, the floor is yours. Maybe uh, Tevin. Tevin, or yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Good morning. Yes, um, so thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, this being the start of the third week, I can say the experience so far has been um, incredible. Um, from Right from week one, gained a lot of insights that obviously helps with the, the key goal of this program, which is to improve our employability. And um, I can say it's been um, intense, but at the same time, very educative, um, transformational in terms of individual skills. And um, I'm looking forward to what um, week three brings with the LLMs, which obviously we've interacted with, but now starting with it from um, its origin and understanding exactly what um, large, lang uh, large language uh, models actually are. So um, all the best and uh, look forward to week three. Thank you. Okay. Um, thank you so much for sharing, Tevin. I think um, that's going to be all. Uh, if anyone is willing to share, uh, we still have time for one more. So um, the floor is yours. If not, I think uh, we can uh, end the session. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, so if anyone is wi willing to share, the floor is yours. If not, uh, Emilian, are you there?
Okay. Okay, I think I need to switch. Um, okay, guys, uh, uh, that's going to be it. So see you guys on the challenge introduction and have a great day.